you can't do both at the same time. Well, Mr. Calvin. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I would very much expect that the European Council takes a decision this uh, week about the MFF because any further delay of this decision is going to put at risk all the programmes that are supposed to start next year. Any delay would mean that the European budget cannot be dispersed from the beginning of next year and the European regions are not going to be able to uh, receive whatever uh, programmes they are working on. The Parliament is ready to accept the position of the uh, European Council only in one way, as an opening negotiating position. Because all the signals that we hear and the November uh, European Council uh, give us a very negative picture about the, the agreement which is uh, about to be reached in the Council. But still there should be an agreement and there should be a further negotiations with the European Parliament. We, have, we are very clear and we have been very clear in the last year what are the requirements of the Parliament and they have been set many times by the colleagues here. The European budget does what national budgets cannot do. And this is very important to understand. The public investments, the creation of, uh, and the public investments create jobs, and, uh, jobs for young people and they help the member states and the economies to exit from the crisis. The international duties of the member states and the union, the competitiveness, these are spendings that national budgets in many countries are not covering at all. We really want to close the gap between payments and agreements. We are accumulating a huge amount of unpaid invoices. You cannot blame the member states for having extensive deficits if the European Commission is not paying the bills for them. So it's not acceptable for us. We want proper own resources not to make a bigger European budget, but to make it more independent and to alleviate the burden from the national budgets. We want the unity of the budget because we don't want to be ambiguous with the citizens and ask them to contribute to two or three budgets for the Eurozone and not. So we are going to accept only a negotiating position and we are ready to start immediately negotiating with it. Thank you. Thank you. Jan Mulder. Thank you, well, voorzitter. Thank you very much, uh, President. Uh, many people have said uh, that uh, it's not just the level of the budget that's important, uh, but uh, we need uh, to make sure that we don't have a budget where there's a deficit every year.